Hi everybody and uh, welcome to this uh, screw driving application demo. Uh, so today what I want to show you is the two main steps of the screw driving application. So the screw uh, picking part of the program and the screw driving part of the program. So uh, we're going to start right away by uh, taking the teach, the teach pendant and inserting a pick screw node. As you can see on the screen, uh, you have digital I.O. to uh, set. The digital I.O. will check on the feeder status and the screw uh, state. Uh, the next step is to actually set a pick position, uh, the screwdriver pick position on the screw feeder. So what I like to do is to uh, use the active drive. Make sure that the screwdriver is really straight using the reorient function. And then I can move really easily the screwdriver right over the screw. And right here, I'm just gonna replicate the actual pick. So I'm gonna start the rotation of the screwdriver. When the screw is, is detected, you can set the, this position as your pick position. And then you can move over the pick position and press on test. <clears throat> by pressing on test, you are making sure that the screw is well picked by the, the screwdriver. There's a little bit of intelligence behind this node, so you don't have to uh, insert the approach or the speed or the moment where you start the vacuum. The node will all uh, manage it uh, by itself. So you only need to set the pick position and everything will work uh, instantly. Uh, there is uh, two conditions to the, the, the pick node. If success, so if there is a success, so the screw is well picked, you continue with the rest of the program. But if uh, there is no screw detected or the screw feeder is not ready, uh, you can do some action. Uh, for now, they're just pop up, but you can uh, do some, uh, some action. Um, either uh, place the wrong screw into a different uh, compartment or whatever you can imagine. So the next step will obviously be to uh, take this screw and put it into its place. Uh, but first of all, we will insert a waypoint. Once again, I'll use the active drive to have a, just a, a waypoint, just to make sure that uh, the screwdriver is not interfering with anything. And then a second waypoint that will be right over the the hole I want to screw in. So I'll use the active drive once again. Before confirming the screw position, I will just start the vacuum with a uh, screw in. This will be my point where I want to uh, start the screw driving node. So right away, I will insert a screw driving node. And if you want to keep the, um, the default um, settings, you're going to uh, apply a one Newton meter torque, turn at 500 RPM and apply a 10 Newton force on the screw. Uh, so as you can see on the screen, there is a teach button. 
So uh, this will, um, so the screwdriver will learn how to screw uh, the fastener correctly. So uh, once we press on teach, uh, the screwdriver will turn slowly and will learn where the threads begin and where they end and where, where is the moment where it reach the torque. And once this is done, the screwdriver will unscrew the fastener and um, it will confirm that it, uh, it has learned the thread correctly. So uh, once again, there's a little bit of intelligence in this node. Uh, we will just, uh, we will see it in action right away. So now the screwdriver have uh, learned uh, how the thread is, uh, is done, the depth of the hole, the depth of the thread, and where the torque is supposed to happen. Uh, so you don't have to manage the different speed. It will uh, automatically do a fast speed uh, at the beginning of the threads and then slow down to reach the torque precisely. There is three uh, section in the screwdriver node. First, it will unscrew and uh, seek for the thread. Then it will detect the thread. And after the, tra the thread is detected, uh, it will turn at, it, at its uh, maximum speed and then slow down to reach the torque. Uh, so that's it. I will just insert another waypoint just to make sure there is no collision. So I will use the same waypoint, number one and uh, this will complete my program. So we'll run it. So everything works correctly. The screwdriver can pick the screw correctly. It can also uh, screw the fastener correctly. So everything is, uh, is working fine. So thank you for, uh, for taking part in this demo.